everyone I made a video over uh, uh, continuing of uh, tutorials uh, which uh, contains uh, I explain how you can make a system and how you can uh, treat all your uh, files and make files directories remove them replace them and I couldn't save uh, the save that video uh, that is because I am going uh, through all those uh, functions because it takes a long, long time and I am going through all those uh, uh, functions and callbacks and uh, uh, in this tutorial I have um, uh, made uh, six extra uh, button and I call them uh, I uh, use a button, uh, command button, and uh, uh, double clicked on this and change the uh, use the callback name and change the label. And I am going to use a uh, decoration now that all of them belongs uh, uh, to one uh, tutorial. And I, each time I uh, created or put uh, I, an icon or command button, I uh, right click on this, uh, on that, and use generate callback. And in uh, C source, it appear a callback function, and I uh, remove it uh, under my callback uh, uh, functions uh, position. And for uh, part 22, I am going to uh, to select a file and uh, uh, use its uh, and put it in a buffer. And in a buffer, it's going the file's position from this uh, from your computer system in which directories it is and then I am going to select the directory and put uh, its uh, uh, address in the uh, uh, in a buffer variable and I am going to um, get a message to find uh, that directory and uh, f you can also select multi files you can select a few files at the same moment and you can uh, use a, a loop and open each uh, uh, file uh, path and uh, uh, write it uh, in a message pop up. Uh, for this, I have used the sel file select pop up and I have left the directory as uh, default and the f type of directory of files I have also uh, let them as default and I have uh, titled the um, uh, frame it up here at that variable visiting here and the wall of button I have used select button and uh, I have used, uh, I have defined, declared uh, three ch characters. One is a array of character long 300, and then two uh, pointer pointer buffer. As you know, a pointer a pointer uh, buffer is an array, and a pointer of pointer buffer it means that each element in that array is a pointer and I have um, initialized them as empty and I have uh, declared three integer ij and status and first I select the file and put the result is in the buffer and then I am telling I am writing the uh, the 
buffer which is a path and then I select the directory and put the result in buffer and I am going to write it which directory I have chosen and uh, or I have visited and then I am going uh, to select few files and put the number of selected items in a variable in an integer variable i and put all those selected files path in the buff in the buff and then I am going to check if status is less than zero it means that you have chosen file and if buff is uh, has something then I am going to use a loop to get the message which files I have chosen after that I am going to get the file path directory history and put the item of directories in the integer variable and put the chosen directories in the directory uh, variable and I am using the same uh, check and uh, the same loop to find out which directory unfortunately in my system this doesn't work but uh, there is uh, examples in the internet and uh, everything uh, I have written here is correct but uh, unfortunately it doesn't work I don't know why and I am going to run this program and I'm going to select it the part 22 it opens a frame with the title Fariba visiting here and I am it's open a current directory I am and I have run this program and it is under National Instrument CVI GUI and I am going to select Karan the next uh, uh, a file and you select and a pop-up message frame appears soon and it's telling that Fariba choose this file and it is the location and it is its path and it is karan.txt I select OK now I choose uh, that file and with control key uh, uh -huh, I must choose a directory I am going to choose that directory and use done and Fariba visited this directory and it is its location its location not the directory name and then I am going to select view files I select this file, keep control key, this file and this file and select UCO and it starts a for loop it appear example.c UCO example.h UCO exam, uh, me.txt UCO and it is uh, what is happening now I am exit the program 
now I am going to part 23 and I am going to make a history of uh, the files I am going to you can use that command here choose a file and put in the buffer or you can use a path I use get file time I have selected that uh, file caron.txt and I need to know which hours which minutes and which seconds uh, it has been uh, created and I am going to use a sprint F and use uh, all those uh, uh, find the integers inside the uh, character T I have uh, declared as uh, 80 and I am going to write it in a message pop-up uh, frame then I am going to get file date I use the same and I want to know in which year in which month and in which day and I am going to use uh, to use a sprint f which is spring uh, which is uh, writing inside an string and that string is uh, t and I am using with that format year day and uh, write it in a message pop of a frame then I am going to get the first file the first file is caron and I am going to get that first file and uh, maybe I can use only in GUI and uh, when you put uh, select keep control key and press P it appeared that I want that file as normal read only I don't need about system or hidden or archive but the directory I need to know and I want that the result is appear in our buff which is uh, in our buff which is a character of the length uh, of the length uh, we have uh, defined before as max path length which is the uh, uh, replace in a studio dot h and I am going to after getting I am going to send a message the file parent is and it's appear buff and then the next file I am going to put it in the buffer result and I am going to write it. Now I am going to run something I compile it okay now I run part 23 the file is created at 18 at 6 o'clock 18 minutes 45 seconds and it has been created today which is 2013 July 2018 and it is a GUI and the parents is uh, also the file is GUI okay quit now I am going to to the part 24 I 
am going to uh, create a path only create a path and then I am going to see the created path and then I am going to remove a file if it exists in the created path and I am going to delete another file in our current directory and I am going to make a directory in our desktop with the name of uh, me and then I am going to copy directory a, another directory inside the created directory what is going to happen what, uh, what I need I need two variables two variable directory directory name and path name the get project directory it's going to get that directory you are inside or you run your program in and then you are going to make a path with this inside the same directory and add it me.txt after that and put it in the path name when you see you see the whole directory with slash backslash me.txt and you are going to change in your directory because I have already that file I am going to remove it and then I am going to delete that uh, file text and then I am going in my desktop I am going to make a directory me and inside that directory I am going to make another directory but copy directory is a function I have created by my own and I have declared it in inside the function declaration and uh, in the end of the program I have uh, I have defined my directory my uh, my function my di copy directory function has two parameters one character of uh, pointed source and one character of pointed destination and inside the, this function I have used another character array of character of length 512 and I have filled that character that string with s double slash s first destination and then source first destination which is your uh, your uh, current directory and source is that one you want um, uh, replace or uh, uh, create and then you use make directory of that string and make directory it needs only the name of directory now I am running now I compile it again and I run it press 24 yes the created path is the current directory and it added me.txt as we wished and what is happening after that it's going to remove if that that path exists 
yes, it has removed me.txt and it has deleted the file text.txt it has removed and in make directory dar after that it has created a directory me in desktop and when you double click on it it has created another directory inside your directory then it is uh, working and it is okay we are existing the program and then thereafter in part 25 I am going to check if a file exists in my directory if it exists I am going to get true if it not exists I am going to get false then I am going to create file inside the same directory I, I am currently there and then I am going to remove a file if it, it exists for example I have a, a file Karan Karan and the uh, file me doesn't exist I am going to get uh, false because it doesn't exist but I am going to get true because Karan exists and I am going to make a file with the name example ex and extension text and it is uh, only a the wb file of type and I am going to put the result in buff and I am going to uh, put also the, uh, because I am I can uh, open that file I am going to use a, a, a input file uh, uh, variable then for this I need an integer i I need a buffer of length 300 and I need a file EFP of type file and I am going to remove a, a file for example I have Karan and I am going to delete Karan from this, uh, this place and I am going to run use compile and use run twenty five the me doesn't exist it it doesn't exist and it is false but Karan exists and it is true and then I am going to make a file ex example and it appear example 0 and Karan is deleted too and I have removed Karan from my uh, my uh, directory okay in 26 I am going to select a file and put it in the file name uh, variable and I am going to open the file as read only and I am going in the current directory make a directory called test with the name test and I am going to copy that one that directory I have made it I am going to put it in the file name I have selected in this in that path and replace it and I am going to move 
that one that test and I am going to put it in the desktop in the desktop and I am going to delete the test from my directory okay I am running now I am it is active and I am going to press 26 Uh, I am going to select the file I am going to select that file load it opens and it cannot delete uh, that one because it wasn't uh, uh, it couldn't find it but the test has been created the file the directory test has been created and on the desktop test 2 has been created which is a which is a text file and it is of course empty because you haven't uh, put anything in that Now we are going to in the next in the next step I am going to select the file and put it inside the uh, file name character and I open it and I am going to use a message full path is the file name because it's going to give us the this uh, the uh, position from uh, RC uh, system until that the directory our file name exists and then we are going to find the ex uh, extension and I have I have created a function get extension directory of file name and I have declared it of course up here and because I am going to use inside the message the second argument in my message is a pointer and it must be a pointer that is because I have been using the pointer and the, se uh, and the second uh, argument in the message is a character then it is a, a character of pointer that function is a pointer character and the file name is a pointer of course which is a array and I have declared three other characters of a pointer and uh, I have uh, initialized two of them as empty the first I do because in our path it appears a backslash I am going to use a stream two in the file name with backslash which is C colon colon and I am going to make a loop while n equal string to null and backslash is not null it means that we are not in the end of the path and if no, n is not null it is not in the end of the path then put k equal m and m equal n the rest of the path and here after that I am going to use a message pop-up or only a message you can use only a message with only a message M M M and the first thing I am going to use I am going to write the K 
after that backslash and then I am going to select the file name which is the name of the file we have chosen with its ex extension and then I am going to use uh, to write the file name without extension it means that I am going to put away the dot text or dot c or uh, something and I am going to return the non without extension in that get get now I am going to in that place I am going to run and I am going to select 27 and I choose that example dot C it is the whole path the full path is file name and then the directory is in GUI and the file name is example dot C and the file name without ex extension is example and the extension is C okay I uh, I had another example that uh, tell you about uh, but uh, I don't run it because I am going to get uh, I am uh, worried that uh, my system is going to be uh, done and this is that I can use an exe executable file and I can run it and then I can terminate it and it is possible to do that but uh, maybe I can use it in uh, uh, I am going to use in this uh, tutorial and I am going to um, okay I must uh, quit first and I am going to use buttons and I'm going another button part 28 part 28 or code and then I am going to use another button here terminate okay. I am going to use callback on this and in my C source I delete unnecessary events and I am going to move it under my callback functions and Okay, I am going to uh, to call a 
variable I am going to make it as global that variable I am going to use integer n as global variable in this program and I am going to use n n and n and I need a character x file equals notepad dot xc and uh, what is going to happen launch executable and it is xc file this is notepad notepad xc and that one control p the windows uh, state is uh, normal and I am going to show it is normal height, show maximize, minimize, show and not and active. And the handle is inside our uh, variable, uh, uh, inside the variable. And if executed has terminated, then retire the executable handle and it's going to execute your program what you need thereafter it's it's that one to terminate uh, it's going to terminate your uh, your process or your uh, something you need to execute and you are going to put it here the end you have a started an execute program and then you are going to terminate that one I am not going to run because uh, it's the I am uh, worried that it can be um, system fail or replace something and uh, but it is uh, uh, it is something you should know when you are uh, when you uh, uh, execute a program in one place and everything is work and after a while you don't need that one you are going to terminate the program that is because it is very important I hope that in this tutorial you have understand the importance because when you make a system and, re and let other users use your system it is very good to follow how you uh, who has uh, who has uh, uh, been in your system and use it and which file it has been used which uh, date and uh, time it has been created and uh, how it has been changed and moved where they have been moved or maybe 
you can uh, you use uh, a system and it makes uh, another uh, files and uh, after and you want gather those files in another places and you can use all those uh, functions I have explained it in this tutorial okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial